morning everyone so I heard a joke the other day I was watching Facebook and I heard a joke and the joke goes like this what is the difference between a boomerang and a black father <laughs> the answer to that question is that when a boomerang leaves it returns a black father doesn't when I heard that joke I chuckled for a minute but at the same time it was a disheartening real joke disheartening but real and while this is not true for every black family for every black father the stereotype is out there because it is oftenly so statistic would tell you that a lot of our parenting in homes are single parent homes led by women led by the mothers that broke my heart and you know the truth is my heart has been broken a long time because every time I look around it's almost like one in every five or every three black homes suffer from single parent home uh, single parent rearing it's a sad reality but I ask myself a question why is this perpetuating how do we have this continuously going on why now while this might not be the only reason because I know it's not I think this is possibly one of the reasons and I thought about it for a minute because I wanted to see if there was any truth to it I'm not putting the blame solely on any individual, so don't misinterpret what I'm going to say. But it's possible, or is it possible, that this is perpetuating because the women allow it? And I'll state my case. A woman have five kids, five different fathers. And you ask the question, all the men leave. All of the men have left. Where did they go? Why is it that she is now left with the responsibility, the sole responsibility of taking care of five children for five different men? Where did they go? You know where they went? To other women to do the same thing the cycle a woman who knows that a man has walked away from his family and choose to be with her especially if he has kids and not being involved in the children's life is just as responsible as the man who left can I be honest and say it again if you as a woman know that a man walked away from his family to be with you but yet he choose not to be in his children's life you choose not to take care of his kids you choose not to be responsible you are just as guilty as he is and that's why the cycle continues because if a man leaves his family where the relationship breaks or not because we understand that sometimes there are difficulties with communication difficulties with values all of these different factors could play into what caused a relationship to break and like i've always said that is okay it is okay it is possible unfortunately it happens reality or, or ideally it would be good if they can find some way to work things out but sometimes it doesn't work that way however whether it doesn't work out or not you still have a responsibility to your children now 
I can understand if a woman is deceived and she find out, say, you know, before she didn't know that the man had kids. And now the man come to be with her and all of these things. The moment that you find out, the question should be, are you taking care of your kids? What are you doing to make sure that you're involved in your children's life? Because don't get it twisted, you know. Don't get it twisted. If a woman, if a man has done that to somebody else, he will do it to you too. What makes you so special? You think you can change people just like that? No. Especially if he has two, three different baby mothers. And he walks away from all of those women all of those kids walk away scotch free choose to be with you because him cute and he makes some money are you that desperate i don't think we women are that desperate or black women are are strong women we declare that all the time strong black woman show your strength in a time when it is needed because guess what every time you allow a man to walk away scotch-free from not owning up to his responsibility you are perpetuating the stereotype and i'm passionate about this because it's a reality that need to stop we need to change this i don't care if i have to pay child support for my kids they are my kids pay the money if, you, if I never wanted to pay child support, I would have done everything possible to stay in that relationship. However, even though it takes two and the relationship could, skip, could split based on the woman or the man or a mutual decision, you still have a responsibility. If you have to go to court to fight for your kids, fight for your kids. They are yours. If you're not sure if they are yours, get a paternity test done. And the test will reveal if they are yours or not. But this need to change. A boomerang, when leaves your hand, returns. Black father, when he leaves his home, does not. That's the stereotype out there for us. Black men, black fathers, for us. That is not my story. That is not my story. But it's a story of many. And it's the story of many children who are suffering. They don't know where their dad is. Some don't even know their father. But mothers, women, you can stop this. You have more power than you think. You have way more power than you think. Show yourself to be that strong woman that you claim to be because you are Show your strength in another way Add this to your strength if a man come to you and he has kids and him not take part in the kids life A worthless man no care where him a push by you no care what kind of car he drives no care how he looks it Doesn't matter nothing if him not take care of him kids him a worthless man and he's going to do the same thing to you as well. Just a thought. Think about it. And if you want to, share what you think. Because we need to fix this. We need to address these matters. Stay blessed.